So guys, the first type of white lesion that we're going to talk about today is lefkoplakia. Plakia meaning plaque, lefko meaning white, so a white plaque. Now the definition of lefkoplakia is a precancerous, so this is important, it is a precancerous lesion, um, which is white and it comes as a patch or a plaque. Plaque is slightly larger than a plaque, so I'm going to write L for larger and S for smaller. It is firmly, so this means it does not come off, firmly attached to the oral mucosa. So as you can see just down here in the picture, this rather large plaque on the buccal mucosa of this patient's mouth. Um, it cannot be classified as any other disease entity. The etiology for lefkoplakia is tobacco, so smoking, alcohol, drinking, chronic local friction, so if something is being rubbed in that area chronically, for example, uh, a denture um, or any other type of um, appliance uh, that might be used, uh, an orthodontic appliance, for example, uh, candida albicans, so a candida infection, fungal infection, and the human papillomavirus. These are all uh, etia that can be uh, related to this type of disease. The clinical features of this disease, there are three clinical varieties. The first one is homogeneous, and this is a common type. The second is speckled, so that means there would be a few dots. This is less common. And the third, verrucous, is rare. The latter two, so the speckled and the verrucous, have a greater risk for malignant transformation. So that means they're much more likely to uh, be rapid and uh, uh, move or move to other areas, rapid growing and move to other areas. Um, the malignant transformation in any type of these is about four to six percent. They can be found on the buccal mucosa, the tongue, the floor of the mouth, the gingiva, and the lower lip. So right here on the lower lip, right here on the buca, uh, right here on the tongue below the tongue, so on the floor of the mouth, the gingiva right here, right here, and yes, I've already shown you the lower lip. This slide is a continuation of lefkoplakia, which we were just talking about in the previous. Uh, now I'm going to tell you about the lab tests that you can do to help diagnose this type of disease. Uh, usually we do histopathological examinations, however usually it's not necessary and you can just diagnose the patient clinically. The differential diagnosis of lefkoplakia is quite complex because there are several types of white lesions, uh, there are several types of lefkoplakia and sometimes it can be a bit confusing. Uh, however, you could uh, diagnose them because they are similar to lichenplanus, hairy lefkoplakia, as opposed to just plain lefkoplakia, uh, lefkoedema, uh, chemical burns, and there are others as well. The therapy of lefkoplakia is elimination of the predisposing factors. What do I mean by predisposing? Uh, like where we said before previously in the etiology, for example, smoking, drinking, uh, chronic um, irritation of the area. If you can help eliminate um, those things, then hopefully the disease will go away by itself. Or if it's a more severe case, you can use systemic retinoid uh, compounds or you can surgically exercise the area. This one, however, is reserved for very extreme cases. So the one in this picture, for example, that would be seen as a mild case, and you would first try to treat it by simply eliminating the factors, no medication needed. Uh, however, if it was chronic or it grew or whatever to you know, a much larger size, then you might want to surgically exercise or treat with um, some powerful medication. 
So that was Lefkoplakia. Thank you.